Hello, hello, hello guys. This is Shar back with another video. And I'm coming back um, to talk about this Ja Rule. Well, not really Ja Rule, but Fat Joe. Um, wow, excuse, excuse the noise in the background. Um, it just started out of nowhere as soon as I started this video. So, sorry. <laughs> but um, I wanted to talk about Fat Joe. I want to keep this really quick, but... Um, it's a lot of stuff that's being said on the internet about the performance that Lil Mo and rapper Vita did um, last night. Not so much as about their performance, but about their looks. Now, um, it was another YouTuber that, um, you know, he, he did a YouTube video and I don't have anything against him. He's cool. Um, I'm trying to think of his name. I think it's Sub sub zero dvd legend shout out to him i have nothing against him um i don't follow his channel but um his videos were some of the videos that came up as it related to this drama with what fat joe said about the ladies now he he brought up talking about their their looks like their hair and he, he mentioned that he was riding with, I guess, a Mexican lady or a Dominican chick. And she pointed out some black girl that was on the corner with long blonde hair. I'm assuming the lady was dark-skinned. I don't know. But, you know, how it just looked crazy and bad taste. And that's fine. Because some of us do have bad taste as it relates to what looks well and what looks what looks well and what doesn't look well on us and a lot of us do go overboard with the wigs and the makeup i will agree with that however i urge him to go and look at the verses that and, and the ladies performance because if you look at their hair okay because he made it an issue about their hair to justify what fat joe said dusty bees gotta go find them at the crack house if you look at Vita's hair, she's on the left of this image. It may be the right for you. I'm not sure. But it's nothing wrong with her hair. As a matter of fact, that may even be her hair. I don't know. But the point of the matter is the way that it's styled, it could very well be hers. Lil Mo, on the other hand, she had braids. They were all the way down to her butt, but there's nothing wrong with her having braids. They are blonde or a, a um, blonde, not blonde, they're a burgundy color. And I think she had a couple of bl blonde braids and they were down to her butt. It's nothing wrong with that. She's an artist. You know, artists, these people, they tend to go overboard with their looks. I mean, they're, they're, they're performers. Was she supposed to come out on stage with a suit and a pair of heels look like she was ready for a nine to five? The only thing with um, Vita's outfit is that she had on a pair of booty shorts with fringes and like a crop top hoodie. Um, and you're looking at Vita now. It's an image from her back in the 90s. If you look at her, she's been extremely skinny from day one. She's always been a very small woman from day one. So the fact that we're in 2021 i'm quite sure this woman is probably in her mid to late 40s now or what have you you know and she's still small now was her outfit the best no she could have done better it, it it wasn't like it was real revealing it just wasn't a the greatest outfit you know she had on a crop top hoodie and some booty shorts but the booty shorts had fringes and she has extremely small thighs and hips. And mind you, again, she's been real small. So the worst with her is that she probably shouldn't have never even wore those shorts because she really didn't have hips and thighs to fill out the shorts. So, you know, if you want to say she's on crack now because she's so small, you know, whatever. But the fact that he called them dusty bees and said you can find them in, in the crack house was totally uncalled for. And then I want to bring up Remy Ma. Remy Ma and Fat Joe are extremely close. They're like sister and brothers. Okay, fine. But as you can see, Remy Ma has come a long way. Like she is the very person or the very type of chick that this guy Sub-Zero 
was probably talking about where you got this, you know, chick who got this crazy effed up hair or effed up hairdo or it's in bad taste. It doesn't look right. It is not done well. You know, it's not becoming of you. Okay. And you probably should have never put it on your head in the first place or had the person do your hair like that. But yet they did. So for Remy Ma to go on to Lil Mo's Instagram, her own personal Instagram, and try to bully her and tell her, you know, gaslight her and try to play it down like he didn't really say nothing or he didn't really mean it. And, you know, you know, he didn't mean it that way. And you, you guys wouldn't even do to come out. That's all BS, Remy Ma. If you look at the verses, he said that, and then those girls came out and performed that particular song that they did with um, Ja Rule. They were due to come out. And even if they weren't due to come out, who the hell else was he talking about? Who the hell else was he talking about? And again, like I said in my video last night, even if he wasn't talking about Lil Mo and Vita, don't talk about any of the women in the back. This is about you and Ja Rule. Keep it about the music. Why are you talking about women and how they look or how they don't look or how they should look and where they live? Let's say it is some people back there that live in a crack house. Why are you mentioning it? Like, you're supposed to be talking about Fat Joe, I'm sorry, about Ja Rule, and that's it. This is an image of um, Remy Ma. Like I said, I, I haven't got my presets together on my camera. I dropped it. It may even be broke now. <laughs> I don't even know. But uh, it cuts off all my pictures now, so I apologize. But this is a picture of Remy Ma from the 90s where she has... As you can see, the bottom half of this photo, long hair all the way down past her butt, actually. And as you can see, it's black. But she has a bang that is platinum blonde. Okay? So, you know, Remy Ma is, is reaching and she's doing the most and she needs to stay out of it or she should have stayed out of it. And like I mentioned on my um, second video about this last night, Fat Joe did a live on his Instagram with Remy Ma, himself, Ja Rule, and Ashanti. I don't know if it was mentioned why Little Mo and Vita was not on there, but I'm willing to bet that he didn't invite them to the live because he don't want to talk about it. He want to brush this mess under the rug, which it is yesterday's news now. This all happened on the 14th. Today is the 16th, but he want to control the narrative and he wants to try to get in front of all the BS because he had no business saying it. And Fat Joe is a person that do a lot of talking. Like I've mentioned, he talks over all his guests. He over talks them. And when you are a talker and you constantly talk, you don't, you are not thinking about what you are saying or what you are about to say. And people like that tend to always say the wrong thing, always putting their foot in their, in their mouth. And he did last night. And he want to try to control the narrative and bring it all down and downplay it, you know, and it was wrong. It was wrong. And for Remy Ma to go to Lil Ma or um, go to Lil Mo's page and tell her, you know, he didn't mean it that way. And, you know, he wasn't coming for you and y'all wasn't due to come out. It's like, girl, really? You of all people should know that, you know, it's insulting when some man just goes off on you for no reason. And if Lil Mo had a husband or Vita had a husband... You know, they he probably would have thought twice about even saying it. Because, you know, when someone has a husband or a man, they got to deal with that person. You know what I mean? But because they, she doesn't have a man or a husband or, or whatever, you know, they feel like it's open game to insult these people. And it's just sad. It's, it's really sad. And, um, you know, I hope he learned his lesson um, maybe he can start thinking before he speaks. And Remy Ma, stay out of it. Just stay out of it because you have come a long ass way. 
Thanks, guys, for listening. And please comment and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Bye. And lastly, um, I just want to add really quick. This is um, coming up is Remy Ma's uh, outfit that she had on when she came out to perform, I believe, two songs with Fat Joe on the September 14th versus battle between Fat Joe and Ja Rule. This yellow, um, looks like it's a yellow cheetah print. Looks like it's a um, crop top uh, buff puffer jacket, but it's yellow and I guess cheetah or leopard print, whatever, with the matching booty panties or booty shorts, whatever you want to call it and some nylons and some black boots like okay your outfit is not all that great either you know what i mean the fact that she is you know has a little bit more weight on her or quite a bit more weight on her than vita you know she doesn't look so bad in the sense that it looks like it's too big or you know her hips and thighs are real real bony I mean she filled the outfit out but it don't mean that her outfit was great I mean quite frankly it wasn't so great you know what I mean I wouldn't see beyond I don't think Beyonce or JLo would wear this um you know so it's just a matter of taste and, and and what your preference is and you know your preference is doesn't look like it's that much better than Vita's or Lil Mo's, if you want to be honest. But, you know, and the fact that Fat Joe gave um, Lil uh, Remy Ma and uh, Ashanti Birkin bags, I mean, he was just showing off. And, you know, he just went overboard. He, he, he took it beyond rap, which was ignorant of him. But, um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to add this photo so you can see her level of taste and what she thinks is style. I mean, it's not much better than the other two ladies. So, whatever, Remy.